Well, this is a very happy Mackenzie Long. Now, Mackenzie, we know that the 1080 you ran here at the Texas Relays was wind dated, but I think yours is like less than four meters per second, and some of these have been like uh, behind a tornado. That must be very gratifying to run that fast, given all that you've been through. Yeah, it's definitely uh, shocking. I just want to give thanks to God for literally just putting me in this position and just having a coach. You know, trust is a big thing with me and my coach, so that's just like another component of that you know, makes me successful at what I do. Now, what, what year or month did you have a hip surgery? Um, I had it in May of 2020. May of 2020? Yeah. So, like, oh, during the pandemic, so I'm, you know, it probably took you a while to, to feel like yourself again, didn't it? Yeah, it took, like, 12 months for, like, a full recovery, but, yeah, it took a good time. And then also, coming back from hip surgery, I was not confident in the 100, but, um, I was actually pretty nervous before this 100 meters, but I'm glad I did what I did, and now I can just showcase the rest of the season. Yeah. But um, so are you are you considering yourself a 100 meters for? I mean, because you you made the finals <laughs> in a very loaded Albuquerque field at NCAA's in the 200 and, and finished fourth. And mm -hmm. and let's face it, and in that and that kind of field, that that's a real notable performance. Yeah, um, I would say I'm a 200 compared to the 100, but. I do know that I do have to double this year, so I am gonna, you know, take it one day at a time and honestly just keep doing what I'm doing and just embrace it. That's really it. So, what are your ambitions kind of here in the next couple of years as you transition from college into post college? I would love to go pro. Honestly, before my hip surgery, I did not think I would be here saying that right now. But, um, at the rate that I'm going, I would definitely love to go pro after college. What to, how is it that you're able to have that specificity in your training that you'll be able to train for the sprints without bothering you? Mm -hmm. um, my coach, we do uh, two times a week. We go for workouts. The workouts are my best friend, um, and then he knows how to like. So on Monday we have 100 days, and then like Thursdays we have 200 long days. So in the middle of that we have our pool workouts, and it just all adds up together. And yeah, this is really, 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 really helpful this season. Uh, look out for old Mrs. Uh, McKenzie. I know we got a lot of great sprinters at the college level, the but, uh, but you're looking one of my peers. So thanks for talking. Thank you. <laughs>